shoulder arthroscopy, lateral decubitus positioning, and patient preparation. The basic operating room setup consists of the surgeon, assistants along with the back instrument table being located posterior to the patient, and the arthroscopic equipment is located anterior to the patient. At our institution, a standard Steris AMSCO surgical orthovision operating table is used. Induction of general endotracheal anesthesia in the supine position with the patient's legs resting on a pillow, sequential compression devices are placed in the lower extremities to prevent deep venous thrombosis during the procedure. The patient is then turned on their non-operative side on a bean bag with sufficient padding being placed under their head and neck to maintain neutral position and prevent cervical strain. A separate axillary roll is placed under the axilla to prevent strain on the brachial plexus and cervical spine. The bean bag is then conformed to maintain stability intraoperatively by creating a vacuum seal. At our institution, we use an Olympic back bag. The operating table is then turned about 70 degrees before completing patient positioning. The non-operative arm is then placed on an arm board with care being taken to pad bony prominences and keep the wrist in neutral position to prevent neurological injury and allow anesthesia access. A seat belt is then applied across the lateral pelvis. We then place a pillow between the lower extremities to pad the bony prominences and tape a piece of foam padding over the top of the lower limb ipsilateral of the operative side. At this point, it is appropriate to examine the affected shoulder under anesthesia. A piece of foam padding is placed over the side of the head to protect the patient's face. The lower body is covered with a bear hugger and blanket to maintain the patient's body temperature during the procedure. To isolate the operative extremity, two clear U-drapes are placed around the surgical area. The operative extremity must now be placed in traction. At our institution, we use a Dionyx A-frame pulley system attached to the caudal end of the operating table. The A-frame is adjusted so the arm will be in full extension at the elbow when in traction. A skin track made by Zimmer is threaded through the end of the A-frame which is then attached to the patient's operative forearm, with care being taken not to compress the hand to avoid any neurovascular complication. The operative extremity is then wrapped in an ACE bandage and traction is placed on the other end of the A-frame. The senior author uses 10 to 12 pounds for women and 12 to 15 pounds for men. Preparation and Draping The scrub surgeon then places a sterile surgical sheet caudal to the axilla. Any exposed skin is then cleaned with sterile chloroprep solution. A surgical assistant can use a sterile green towel to pull the operative extremity cranially, thus exposing the axilla for further cleaning. It is important to note that the axilla is addressed last and then the prep stick is discarded. At our institution, we then use two sterile blue U-drapes made by 3M Healthcare. One is placed across the neck and down the chest and back with the second being placed across the axilla and up the chest and back. Following this, another sterile green towel is folded lengthwise and wrapped around the non-sterile ACE bandage. We then wrap this with a sterile Coban wrap in order to maintain sterility during the procedure. A sterile arthroscopic drape with an arthroscopic fluid collection pocket and associated drain made by 3M Healthcare is then placed to isolate anesthesia from the operative field. The surgeon will then place Ioban made by 3M Healthcare around the edges of the operative area. The surgical team will then change gloves and conduct a final pre-incision timeout.